Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. This is a video I've been meaning to make for so long and you guys have been asking for it for so long. I just wanted to kind of get everything right trial and error everything before i like sat down and made like a cohesive video for you guys this is going to be my journey with my own gut health i'm not a doctor or a specialist but these are just things that i have done that have significantly made a difference in my digestion my bloating my gas my bowel movements literally anything that has to do with the gut I had issues with, honestly, for like a really long time. And I'm just gonna give you like five things that I have done that have made the biggest difference in my gut health and really turned things around for me. So I guess I'll kind of start from the beginning where my gut issues kind of started. I started noticing them in college. For those of you who are new here, I played college soccer. I kind of started noticing them when I started drinking protein every day and like working out super hard and everything that goes into playing college soccer. That's when I kind of noticed like, oh, I'm having like major digestive issues. I guess I'll give you like some of the things that were happening to me. It might be a little TMI, maybe. I'm just gonna share them anyways. Number one thing was I had such bad gas. Y'all, no, you don't even understand. Like it was rancid, like diabolical, burn your nose hairs out, the worst gas like ever, okay? That was like number one. And then number two, I would be bloated after like, eating anything anything at all to the point where it was like very painful like i couldn't even touch and it would be cramping just like so uncomfortable when you're a college athlete i think your mindset is kind of like a little bit warped because you don't think of an injury or something being wrong unless it's like a physical injury like you broke your arm you broke your leg whatever i never really thought about this as like a big issue like i was like oh what like i have like diarrhea some days and I'm constipated majority of the other times. That's not my main priority right now and I didn't like tell anyone or go like go see anyone about it until like my junior year because it got really really bad. Okay this is so awkward like I don't like this let me. So it's finally like let me go see someone about this this is too much for me to handle type of deal and the doctor that I went to like was not much help like basically he was like oh just take a probiotic and so I did I took the one that he prescribed and like nothing happened <sighs> okay this is getting very annoying. So I went through the rest of college, basically just dealing with it. When I got out of college, I had complete control over like my health and fitness. That's when I kind of took things into my own hands. And step number one in getting my health in check was going to get blood work done. That was like the best thing that I could do for myself. And I know people have like differing opinions on if you should do this, but for me, it was like very beneficial. So getting that done really gave me like a starting point. So they kind of told me like what things I could possibly be intolerant to like this is what we see in like markers in your stomach and so they told me things that I could have possibly be intolerant to and that's where I kind of found out like it kind of clicked with me why I was having so many issues and the main thing that was probably wrong was they said that I was very intolerant to whey so whey is the protein in dairy and lactose is the sugar in dairy so I'm not lactose intolerant but I'm whey intolerant for six years of my life I had been taking whey protein almost Almost every single day that kind of like opened my eyes a little bit and I was like okay I see where I see where I went wrong I see what what the issue was you know what I'm saying but they also told me other foods that could also be causing like a lot of inflammation in my gut second tip would be once you get that blood work back you need to like actually consider what could possibly be causing a lot of inflammation in your gut it could be the foods that you're eating it could be the protein that you're drinking it could be stress it could be a lot of different things but for me the blood work was a really good starting point to just say like okay these things may be causing inflammation or they may not I kind of like took what they told me with a grain of salt, all of these different food groups, kind of cut everything out. And as I slowly started to add things back in, I was like, oh, I can eat that. Like my, it's totally fine to eat that. Doesn't upset my stomach or no, that is definitely on my like no list. I cannot be eating those foods. It really upsets my stomach. And I've kind of discovered that like onion, big no, no for me. Broccoli really messes me up. It doesn't do well, so I don't really eat those two things anymore. I have to stay away from all dairy. That's like obviously 
a no for me. Those would be my three things that are me personally, this could be different for everybody else. To this day, like I'm still finding things that like, oh, maybe that kind of like upset my stomach. Maybe that caused a little bit of inflammation in my gut. It's really like trial and error and I'm still learning as I go on. Third step, and this one is it, I think you need to do all of these steps combined. Like obviously just doing one of them can help. If you really wanna start that like healing process of your gut, you need to do more than just like one of these steps. The third thing that I did was get a very strong probiotic strain. So I just go to vitamin shop and I just get, I don't have the bottle anymore, but it's like one of the highest strains. Like it has like 30 billion strains in it. Just so you have like all your bases covered, you have like a lot of bacteria in your gut. You need to like constantly be replenishing them. So I highly, highly recommend to take a probiotic. That's what I do every single day now. And I swear by it. I think it really has helped a lot along with all these other things that I've done. Number four, I know we all do not want to hear it. Trust me, when I was doing research and they were like, oh, you need to cut out coffee. I was like, excuse me, excuse me, what? But it's true, coffee is, it just causes inflammation in your body. And um, I was having that every single day, but making the switch from coffee to a matcha, matcha is actually beneficial for your gut. So that is a really good switch to do. Also with my matcha, I also put this powder in it called L-glutamine and it's supposed to strengthen your gut lining along with like muscle support, other benefits as well. That was actually like recommended to me is to take L-glutamine powder. So I actually mix that in with my matcha when I do matcha lattes. And I feel like that might've helped as well. I'm just gonna throw that out there in case anyone wants to try it as well. And obviously I was doing all these other things at the same time, but I really feel like that actually did make a big, big difference. And now I only have coffee like once a week and I can really tell like when I have it, like it does cause a little bit of upset, but it's life. I'm not gonna like cut out everything that I love just because it causes me a little bit of discomfort. Sometimes I'm just gonna do it, okay? For a good coffee, a good La La Land French toast latte, I'll do it, I'll do it. My gut health journey has actually been kind of like a roller coaster because I had kind of gotten everything in check and I was like, yes, it's doing great. I'm having no constipation, no symptoms, no nothing, no gas, no bloating, whatever. And then I started counting macros and um, a lot of the foods that are low sugar, low carb, low calorie, all of those foods are just filled with like artificial flavors, artificial coloring, a lot of preservatives, a lot of gums, a lot of these like chemicals and that is like detrimental to your gut health and so I started having a ton of those symptoms again not too long ago because I started tracking and I was eating all of those low calorie foods and low carb and low sugar currently I have tried to cut out as much of that stuff as I can only eat really good brands that have real ingredients in their stuff whole foods fruits vegetables protein sources just really whole nourishing foods. And that would be my last tip is to eat real food. Cut out all the crap, cut out all the chemicals, cut out all the fake sugars, the stevia. I know it sucks, but like when you're getting a coffee and you get like four pumps of sugar-free vanilla or hazelnut or sugar-free, whatever, like that stuff is just filled with chemicals. Like, yes, it's low calorie, but it's like at what cost? You should rather just get like the real stuff because your body can naturally digest it better. At least that's what I found for myself. Like that has actually made the quickest difference in my gut health. I've seen a quick change just from doing that because I was eating a lot of those things and now I'm eating like essentially none of those things. Obviously, everybody's like gut health journey is different. I've struggled with this for a really long time and that's why I wanted to make this video. I've struggled with gut health for so, so long. It is something that I'm very passionate about. It's kind of just become like my normal routine to not eat the foods that upset my stomach and stay away from certain things that I know are going to cause me discomfort. It is definitely a learning curve and it's really hard and it's a lot of trial and error. It's worth it. Trust me because I, I really don't have a lot of those really uncomfortable symptoms. I have to tell you guys something. Literally, when I had my dental school interview, I was terrified because I was like still dealing with that then. And I was terrified because I thought I was literally going to fart in the interview. 
because I, I couldn't control it. Like, it sounds so dumb, but like, I could not control it. It was so bad. Anyways, I digress. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any other questions about like stuff that I've done or things that I recommend, leave your question in the comments and I'll try and get back to all of you. I know a lot of people nowadays do struggle with a lot of gut issues. I think that solely has to do with what we're eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And I love y'all and I'll see you next time.